At least one of you has asked me what's in my kit bag for my weddings. So I'm going to show you, but here's a caveat. Your experience may vary. What I mean is this is tailored to my needs and what I enjoy. Let's take a look at what's inside this week's kit bag because it can change a little bit. First of all then, let's go through the camera bodies I'm going to be using. Now why the X-T1? Well that's a whole long video, but this X-T1 will have the 18 f2 on it, a very underrated lens on the internet with the experts, but I love this lens. Of course the X-T1, the many features that I love, the screen, the quality of the images, and this time I'll be shooting JPEG plus RAW. I'm very confident about the JPEGs, but we're going to have the RAW just in case. That's another topic. That'll be the main, main, main camera. That's the one I'll probably get the most shots out of. Then the X-T10, the little baby version of the X-T1. This one is going to have the 35-1.4, which if I'm honest is a lens that sat in my bag at weddings for a while or been on the third body. Tell a lie, it sat in my bag more, but I do love it. And now I'm going to employ it a little bit more. Now I was tied between putting the 56 on this body and the 35 back on the X-Pro1, but I like the balance with the 56 on the X-Pro1. It is quite a tank compared to the other cameras, but still absolutely love it. Now, this is another video too, but this X-Pro1 on the market now, it has almost no value, which is nuts because it's fantastic. And that was before the X-Pro2 came out, before the previews were online. The price for this body was ridiculously low. But I didn't sell it. I didn't trade it on because it's just too good to justify selling for a couple hundred pounds. So at this wedding, I'm going to be using this as the third body. And because these cameras are so incredibly light and simple to use. I'm happy to have the three, as wild as that sounds. Now this will probably be slung around my back and the other two, let me show you how I carry them. It's a belt. It's actually the belt from the B-grip system and I've tried it and I used to love the B-grip system, but I'm on the Peak Design clips at the moment, capture clips. Now I've got another one which I'll attach to this, but at the moment I've got the one because that's where I was putting my D600. So it sits on my hip, no weight on the back or anything. Of course, these new Fuji bodies don't weigh anything. So I'm back to just flinging them on my shoulder with the standard straps at the moment. I'm not that bothered, but I think I'm gonna hook one onto here, have the main one on me and the other one slung around the back. Three cameras, two on the body, one on the hip. It's not so bad, it doesn't weigh anything. And with this, it's really easy, really secure. If you want to hear more about that, let me know. On the other side of this belt, although I'm probably going to swap it around a bit, I've got a couple of pouches. So, yeah, I think I'll only be taking one, to be honest. This pouch, it's got some batteries in it. Standard Duracells for the flash unit. I will be putting in my spares. I've got loads of these spares for my ex buddies. Business cards are in there too. Lens cloth. All the usuals that you'll need. If you've been shooting weddings for a while, this is all standard stuff. But at least one of you wanted to know. And that's just a normal cheapo pleather case. But with the belt loop. This of course is a low pro version. It has a nice little slot for a hidden spare card. Which is pretty cool. And in fact, there's a nice little 8 gig card sitting in there. So that's cool. In fact, two 8 gig cards sitting in there. Maybe we will be carrying that. Again, these things all on the hip, on the belt. When you jump in and out of the car, you just sling it off, unclip it, and you're away. So that's going to go with me. Now, I'll have a flash, although a very, very rarely used flash. If at all, it'll be for the first dance. And that's only if really necessary. So the flash that I'm using as regular viewers will know, is the i40. Again, because this is the first time out without the Nikon system, this will be the flash I'll be relying on. That'll get fresh batteries in it. There's a few other bits and pieces that I'm planning to take with me, 
little secret for now might let you know afterwards there's a few things that I might do extra but those are the basics dead simple three bodies so two to work with and a backup and it gives me the chance to play with the three different lenses this time batteries for the flash belt holder cards lens cloth spare batteries spare batteries spare batteries spare memory cards other than that my bag's just going to have the usual bits and pieces that I need to get through today. Personal items, probably throw in some water and stuff in a bag as well. Some little snacks. I'm going to carry the gear in this bad boy. It's the inner bit from my Calumet roller case. Now the problem I have is my boot isn't really big enough to have a roller case sitting in it. And I don't like to leave things on display. So... What I discovered was this backpack that I've got will take it perfectly and will fit nicely in my boot so it's hidden away but it's handy and plus to take it into the venue if I really need to although with this gear as you can guess I probably don't really need to mess about too much. This is actually perfect dimensions for carry-on luggage even with Ryanair. And that's what I originally used it for. It's fantastic, loads of pockets which I'm going to be filling up with the little bits and pieces I need for the day and we're away so although i've shot many fuji x series only weddings this is the first time i'll be going without the nikon sorry nikon i love you but fuji you made my year when you first came out leave some comments below there's probably something i've left out which is why i always prepare a week or days in advance depending how many jobs are going on and what I can juggle around but at least one or two days before get the gear ready get the batteries charged up I do have a battery charger in there that's USB chargeable too. I'll have a battery pack as well. So if I really desperately need to charge on the go, I can use a cigarette lighter, USB adapter, or the USB battery pack. Forgot how to say it now. My Xiaomi 10,000 milliampere USB charger. Just for the sake of it, I might carry one of my older ones in the bag. Then if anything happens with any of my batteries, I can just stick it on, leave it to charge, and then if I really get desperate, I can call on that battery an hour or two later. So thanks for listening to me waffle about what's going to be my kit bag for the next wedding. Don't take that as a golden rule, but that is what it's going to be for me. What do you carry? Let us know. Subscribe, comment, be nice, be friendly. And thanks for watching, especially if you got this far and you didn't skip to the end, which would be kind of weird, but hey, YouTube. Take it easy.